Today here at EMT Beer Review, we're going to get a little bit scientific on you. Using some measuring tools and some data, we are going to let you know how body weight affects your time up the hill and how it affects your range. And we're going to get into nitty gritty and give you some hard numbers. All right, I'm here at the testing grounds with the 2023 Levo SL and I just did a couple laps. 6.51 is the time when I put my average at 200 watts and the bike is working at full power. But now I have a really cool experiment. I put on a 35 pound backpack and we are gonna analyze what's gonna happen to the time giving the same effort on the same bike. What do you guys think? What's, what are the guesses? Okay, e-bikes are pretty cool, right? It, it allows riders from different backgrounds to ride together and, do, and tackle the same ride together, right? But as you may have noticed, the heavier riders, they don't get up the hill as quickly and they kind of run out of uh, battery sooner than the rest of the folks. And they have to cut out early and stuff like that. And it's not just the fact that they have less power or they're not trying as hard. There are some hard physics formulas here that are working against you. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prove it to you guys. I'm gonna demonstrate exactly what's going on and help you decide you know, what kind of bike to, uh, to buy, you know, how big a battery to get if you want to ride with other people. Okay, so here I am, I have 155 pounds. I can put out 300 watts. I'm pretty old, but I can put out 300 watts sustained for about 10, 20 minutes and 200 watts I can do comfortably. And uh, we have a, a Levo SL here, the latest, a, a mid-powered bike, has 320 watts, 15 newton meters, a really good bike. It's like a full-powered bike on trail mode so it's a very good representative and this is kind of how a lot of people ride in a, in a group anyway so 155 pounds right so i'm lucky come from skinny skinny jeans and what i'm gonna do to relate to my my brothers is i'm gonna strap on this backpack this backpack weighs 31 pounds 31 pounds my friends and uh, let me tell you uh, the minute i put this on i uh I said, no, I'm not gonna heck out my, 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 my heavier buddies anymore. This thing is a beast. So I got the weight and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up the hill uh, without this about two, three times and get some, get some benchmarks uh, with this bike. The bike can put out about 300 watts, 320 watts peak and I'm gonna put out a constant uh, 200 watts and I'm gonna do that uh, with uh, power meter pedals. So I've done this like 20, 30 times. So I'm pretty good at it already. And I'm gonna get a consistent time. And once I have that benchmark set, I'm gonna put on this pack and, and climb up the hill a couple times with this pack and see exactly how it affects the time. So when I didn't have the pack, I, uh, I did the, the climb. I did it in six minutes and 51 seconds. So six minutes, 51 seconds is pretty darn good. So I put this thing on, went up the hill a couple times, and the time that I got is 7.51. So seven minutes, 51, that is one minute slower than, than without the pack. Uh, and this is for a 510 foot hill. So, and, and going, you know, pretty good effort for me, consistent effort for me, 200 watts and then the bike at about 300 watts you know just just full boost on the bike so one minute uh, which is about I don't know 15 percent slower and what you could do as well is you can extrapolate that you know a 500 foot hill is not much but let's say you have a, a, a good hill is 2,000 feet that is what is that four minutes I'm gonna be waiting for him at the top for four minutes. So how does the math work out? Uh, let me give you some stats. So the bike itself is 40 pounds. I have three pounds worth of gear. So rider weight is 155 pounds. System for the whole system is 198 pounds. So when I add the, the 31 pound backpack, now we are talking 221 pounds. So the rider, I put out 200 watts constantly. The bike puts in, let's just say 300 watts. So the time is six minutes and 51 seconds. And here's where it gets super interesting because I'm gonna be able to extrapolate some data. I used 14% of the battery. Okay, how much can I climb with this setup? Uh, because I used 14% of the battery, 320 watt hours. That means that I can climb 3,642 uh, feet of elevation. 
Now bear in mind, this is just a fire road, a straight up fire road, and there is no distance here. Um, meaning there's no flat part. I just go up and down, up and down. <laughs> so if I did that, even with the bike at full power, me contributing 200 watts, I'll be able to climb 3,642 feet. Now I put on the pack. I'll just leave it on, you know, just so I can relate to you, uh, Clydesdales. Uh, the time was seven minutes and 51 seconds. And the battery used, here's the interesting part, 17%. So you used up more battery. Not only did I take more time, I used up more battery as well. Uh, the rider too uh, put in more watts because, because I, I put in one minute more work. With an extra 31, nine extra watt hours of work was put in. All right, because I used 17% uh, of the battery, that means that given this whole scenario, I'll be able to climb 3,000 feet, okay? On the old one, I was able to climb, I would be able to climb 3,600 feet. So there, it starts, it starts to become significant, huh? So 600 feet, just because I'm heavier, uh, exact same power from the rider, uh, you know, it can climb 600 feet less. So Clydesdale guys, don't feel bad when you run out of battery first, because the math says that's just how it is. All right, there's a lot of math here. Uh, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of that using, using a tool on the internet. But the b most basic math is, you know, this is 31 pounds, my system weight is 198 pounds, so that's a 15.6% difference. I added 15.6% uh, of weight to my system. So in calculation, uh, if you just do the calculated math, 15.6% uh, of 6 minutes 51 is 754. So we're pretty close. So if you wanted a quick calculation of, you know, what the difference is, you know, just take the the uh, the percentage of the the delta the, the change uh, in weight over the system weight and that's going to be the uh, difference in percentage in time it's probably going to be the difference in percentage in battery range as well so before i close i'm going to give you a little tool it's called bikecalculator.com i put in a bunch of scenarios and i'm going to talk you through it uh, just in a couple minutes and, uh, and and see what you can learn from it let me walk you through a tool called Bike Calculator as it validates all my work here. So the power we have is 500 watts, rider weight 154, bike weight 43 pounds with gear. And the time is 6.76, which is right around the 6 minutes 51 seconds that I am getting. Okay, on this next screen, the only difference here is the rider weight is now 185 so the 31 pound backpack was added theoretically and as you can see with everything else being equal the time is 7 minutes 0.73 which is uh, really close to what I got 7 minutes and 51 seconds next scenario is the power is 200 watts and 154 weight no no backpack here so this scenario is what if there was no motor? What exactly happens to the time? So the time is 16 minutes, 0.41. And let me tell you, I've actually done this test on, a, on an e-bike motor off, and this is about what I got. Next example here is a full powered e-bike. So 700 watts total power, 500 from the bike and 200 from the rider, uh, 154 pounds. And the time here is 5.18 minutes and uh, this is about what I get on my canyon so uh, very good uh, uh, result here next scenario here is the full powered e-bike again 700 watts but this time we put on the backpack and as you can see the time is 5.83 minutes so we lost about half a minute and this is really interesting because on the on the mid powered bike we lost a full minute so as you can see, the, the higher the power of your bike, the, the, the less time you lose. So if you're a heavy rider, mid-powered or low-powered e-bikes are not ideal. And the last scenario here is just a mid-powered e-bike, 500 watts total power, rider and bike. And this time we have 203 pounds as the rider weight. So. We add what, 50 pounds uh, and 
the time is 8 minutes and 30. So as you can see, yeah, this is uh, the time gaps become quite significant uh, as the rider gets heavy. Okay, so I took this thing off. Oh my God, I should train like that because I feel like a million bucks right now. But, but really, I'm the same old person. So bottom line is, you know, that's 31 pounds of extra weight. So if I'm riding with someone who's 31 pounds heavier than me, these are the results that are expected. Uh, some of my, the riders I, I go with uh, are 50 pounds, 70 pounds more than me. So, you know, I'm not gonna heckle them as much anymore. I'm just gonna tell them to put it on a higher uh, mode and to have a way bigger battery than me. And, and we can just rally together. And that's one of the cool things that e-bikes really allow you to do. It allows you to equalize you know, the, the times and, and the range. Um, it's a tool that you can use, even if both riders are, you know, putting out equal effort. You know, they're, they're both riding just as hard, both, both getting as good a workout. Body weight makes the biggest difference in the world. If you're trying to save weight on your tires, maybe save uh, 200, 300 grams, uh, you know, get the occasional flat and, and crash every once in a while. Not a good idea, not a good idea. If you want a smaller rotor, you know, to save weight, to beat your buddy, not a good idea. Saving a couple pounds here and there, not gonna make a difference, okay? <laughs> What's gonna make a difference is your, your legs, your motor, uh, and in how fast and how safe you're able to handle these hills. I relate to my heavier brothers, uh, but, but really, uh, hopefully this helps you understand some of the, the speed and range differences related to body weight. Thanks a ton.